So, you're going to sit the Academic Selective Entrance Test. Let's have a look at what's in the test and how it's laid out, so you know what to expect on test day. These tests are trying to find out your learning potential, things like how you think and reasoning skills, not what you may have learnt at school. All the information you need to answer the questions is in the question booklets. There are four tests. Reading comprehension, communicating ideas in writing, quantitative reasoning, and abstract reasoning. After the first two tests, you will have a 10 minute break to have a snack, get a drink, and go to the toilet. The reading comprehension test is 35 minutes long and you will have 35 multiple choice questions to answer. Different reading skills are tested using a variety of texts and may include fiction, non-fiction, poetry and drama, together with diagrams, tables, charts and maps. You cannot use a dictionary or thesaurus for any part of this test. Here is an example of a text and some questions. Make sure you read the text and questions before you answer and then choose the best answer for each question from four options A, B, C or D. There are more examples you can look at in the sample test. Here is an example of the answer booklet where you record all your answers for all four of the tests. You can write on the test booklets for any working out, but you must record your answers in the answer booklet. Here is how you fill in the oval for your multiple choice answers using only pencil. This is where you must shade your answers to the reading comprehension test. In the Communicating Ideas in Writing test, you will have 25 minutes to create a piece of writing in response to a prompt, such as an image, text, or both. The 25 minutes includes your planning time and your writing time. Here is an example of a prompt. In this test, you may use either a pen or pencil if you are using pencil, please press firmly so your writing is clear and easy to read. Your writing should present a clear, well-organized, original and creative idea inspired by the prompt. You can write in any style, for example, a short story, a script, a poem, persuasive text, a song, it is up to you. Be as creative and original as you can, but remember, the markers must see the connection to the prompt. You will not lose marks for poor spelling, punctuation, or grammar. Here is the section of the answer booklet that you will be using for the communicating ideas in writing test. If you need to, you can use this blank space for planning. You will not be awarded any marks for planning, only what you write in the lined paper. Start your writing here. After this test, you will have a 10 minute break. The quantitative reasoning test assesses your reasoning ability in mathematics and science and requires no previous knowledge. It is 35 minutes long and you will have 35 multiple choice questions to answer. You will be asked to extract and interpret information, solve problems and identify similarities and differences. You may not use calculators or rulers in this test. To answer the questions, you will choose the best answer for each question out of four options, A, B, C or D. Remember, you can also use blank space in the question booklets for working out. There is also space on the back of the booklet for any rough working out you may like to do. Rough working out is not marked. 
In the answer booklet, shade your answers for the quantitative reasoning test here. The abstract reasoning multiple choice test is 20 minutes long and assesses your ability to see relationships, patterns, and think logically. You will have 35 multiple choice questions to answer. Here are some example questions from the sample test available on the website. Shade your answers on the answer booklet here. For Year 6 students only? For Years 8, 9 and 10 students only? It's a good idea to be well prepared for your test day. Check the asset confirmation email so you know your test location, date and arrival time. Fill out your student health form and remember to add your photo. Plan your journey and look at the test venue map on our website before the day. Get a good night's sleep. Bring with you your asset confirmation email, your student health form with your photo on it, writing materials, including at least two lead pencils, a pen, an eraser, and a sharpener, a water bottle, any snacks you might like, and a fiction book if you finish early. Remember that mobile phones, tablets and smartwatches are not permitted in the test room. These must be left in a secure bag outside the test room in a supervised area. Some other things to remember are The test is designed to be challenging, so attempt as many questions as you can, as you do not lose marks for incorrect answers. Manage your time. Do your best to answer each question. If you find it difficult, choose your best guess and come back at the end if you have time. Check your question number against the answer booklet number when shading in the ovals. Rub out your answer if you change your mind and clearly show your new answer. If you need to know anything else, visit our website where you can view the online sample test papers and tips sheet. If you still have questions, ask your parents to email or phone the Gifted and Talented Selection Unit.